Hey guys, it's me Stace. I am back again today with another Making on Monday project. Actually, it's been quite some time since we did a Making on Monday, but we are bringing the series back. And today we're making this really cute shamrock card. There's the outside there, and then we have the inside. All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. All right, at the computer, you want to go to design.cricut.com. You will see this screen. Enter in your email and your password. Click on sign in. On this screen, we're going to scroll down until we get to the card section. And then click on view all. In the search box in the upper right hand corner, type in the word shamrock and then click on enter. The card we are making is this one here. It is called the shamrock card. Click on that. It'll bring up a preview window. Click on customize. All right, so we have our card base, the two shamrock pieces, and our four pieces of pattern paper. The first thing I want to do is make a map for the inside. So left hand side toolbar, I'm going to click on shapes, click on the square. I'm going to bring the square over here and resize it. So I have the square selected. The top toolbar where the size is, we're going to unlock the lock. Make the width here be 4 inches and the height is going to be 5.25. I also want to change the color. So I have it again selected. Top toolbar, we're going to change it from black to white. I want to add text to that piece as well. So left hand side toolbar again, we're going to click on text. I'm going to type in Happy St. Patrick's Day. All right, now I'm going to move my text over. Having my text selected, again, the top toolbar where the alignment tool is, we're going to click on that and have it align center. I'm going to change the text out to a writing font. So I'm going to click on a font here. I'm going to click on filter and then go down to writing. And the one I chose for this one is the Cricut Sans font. So I'm going to scroll down until I get there, which is right there. You'll see the font change. Now we're just going to use the arrow keys to resize it to fit our card. All right, so I think that looks pretty good there. I'm going to right click on one of the shamrocks and choose duplicate and bring one of the shamrocks down and resize that to fit in the lower right hand corner of our card. Like that. We're also going to change that from a cut file to a draw. So I have it selected. Up top on the toolbar, you will see line type. Click on that and change it from cut to draw. So it'll use the marker tool for us. I'm going to set that aside for one moment. Take my mouse across both the card and the text. Top toolbar, we're going to click on align and choose align the center. I'm going to bring my little shamrock back over. Put that back in the bottom right hand corner. Again, take your left mouse button across all three pieces. On the bottom right hand corner of design space, we're going to click on attach. That's going to attach all those pieces to that card base. All right, so all we have left here is our card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half. I'm gonna cut that out with my trimmer so I can delete that. We have the four pieces of pattern paper. These all are 1.5 by 1.5. So I'm gonna remove all those as well to save on the cutting. So all we need to have the Cricut cut out is our greeting for the inside and the two shamrocks. Upper right hand corner, click on make it. And again, for this piece, you will need the marker tool. Then you'll just cut out the shamrocks here. Bottom right hand corner, we're gonna click on continue. I'm going to cut these out with a table and put our card together. All right, guys, we are back. All of our pieces are cut out. The one thing I did differently, they chose a white card base. I chose green to match my shamrocks here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the one white piece, and this piece measures four by five and a quarter, and I use my trimmer to cut this piece out. We're going to grab some ribbon, and I just have this really thin ribbon I picked up at Walmart. I'm going to go ahead and cut a small piece of this off, and grab some scotch tape. We're going to tape this to the card mat or the front piece more toward the left hand side. And I'm taping on the back. And I'm going to bring it to the front and just make sure I'm straight and nice and tight. Not too tight to where it bends your card though. I'm going to fold that room back over and then just apply tape to keep that in place. All right, now I'm going to take this and adhere this to the front of our card. And I'll work on the ribbon and the pieces in a minute. So I'm gonna first get this lined up and I have the ribbon on the left hand side. Straight, centered, I don't think I'm straight, but that's okay, we're gonna go with it. And I have my four pieces and again, I used my trimmer to cut these out. I just chose two different patterns. I'm gonna get and put some glue on the back of these guys and we're gonna glue these to the lower right hand corner. So my first piece I'm gonna line up in the bottom right, try to be even on the right hand side and the left and straight. Okay, and then my stripe piece will go next to that one. <clears throat> I'm 
It's a really cute card, very simple. I do like this kind of card. It would be great for any occasion. Really, you can change the papers, use birthday papers, add a present to the center, and replace the shamrock. That's one thing I love about the design space is that it gives you ideas. You just take one card and then you can change it multiple ways. I think I'm a little bit crooked on that one, but we're going to go with it. Our last piece here for the front. Get that one here. You want to, you could use a ruler and all that stuff, but I'm just going to go with it. All right, so we have that down. Let's take another piece of that same skinny ribbon. And we're going to tie this into a bow. I'm going under the ribbon we put on the front, flipping it around, and hopefully we'll get a bow out of this. And I want to have the bow go more toward the top, like have the knot line up with the top of the squares. Get it nice and tight and then make our loops. I just got that ribbon from Walmart. Okay, I'm going to push on that, make my loops a little bit smaller. Get them how I like them. Alright, so I think I like it like that. I'm going to trim the tails off my ribbon so it's not so long. Alright, now we have our shamrock pieces. I'm going to use my bone fold and just kind of curl up the edges a little bit so it's not so flat. And they used a green button with white twine. I'm using a brown button with raffia. Use what you have, right? So I'm gonna cut a piece of this raffia off. And I'm gonna go in through the front first. This is a four hole button. So I'm gonna go in one of the holes from the front, hopefully. Okay. And then through the other side on the front. Actually, I want to go through the other way first. Let me go through the back. Okay. Isn't that funny, I forget how I did this. Yeah, I'm going through the back first, guys. Okay, so I'm going through the back, coming through the front, and I'm going in the hole that is diagonal from it. Okay, so I'm bringing both these pieces to the back. Okay, that's how I did that. Now I'm going to bring these pieces to the front on the other holes, and we'll tie this piece into a little knot. So I have one piece there, and bring this one through the other one. Okay, now don't tie it terribly tight if you're using raffia because you might tear it. All right, just get a little knot there going. Okay, and then I'm just gonna trim off a little bit from it so it's not so big. In the back of that, I'm going to take some of this sticky strip. It'll help hold my button down and also keep that twine or that raffia in place as well. So it's like a double duty there. Just a small little scrap piece. Give it a rub. Take the paper backing off. And I'm going to do another piece right next to it. Okay. Again, give that little piece a rub. Take the backing off of that one. And just look at that from the front. Make sure you don't see any of the tape hanging off. We're going to put it on the front of our shamrock right in the middle. A good little press. I'm going to flip this shamrock over. I'm going to grab a foam square. I'm using the, um, these foam squares I get from Mama Made It. I'm just using a large rectangle one. Give that a squish to the backing off of that one. Now they're not um, layered, they're layered directly on top of each other just to give it that 3D look. So make sure they're kind of straight there. All right. I'm going to take my art glitter glue. I get this from Mama Made It as well. Put some glue in the back. This one's just in the center so the other side can still stand. And put that in the middle of all four of your squares. Give it a push. I like to hold it from the inside. Just give it a little push like that. All right, now I want to do the inside. And the inside, again, we just used the Cricut font. It was uh, Cricut Sands, and we used one of the shamrocks. Just made it shorter or smaller. That is Miss Dinah walking in. You hear her footsteps. All right. And place this on the inside of the card. If you have a St. Patty's Day stamp, you can of course use a stamp, but all right, so we have that. So we have that card. Isn't that really cute? I kind of squished the bow a little bit. So just kind of refluff it a little bit more. I'm gonna kind of bring that down some, make this a bit shorter. 
I'm not the best at bows. I get it right, then I'm like, oh, I need to trim it, and then before I know it, I'm redoing the entire bow. Okay, trim this one as well. Okay. All right, so there's that one. Then we have this one here. Like I said, really, really plain card, but again, you can change the papers out, change the shamrock out, and you have a whole different card depending on whatever um, occasion you want to give the card to. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed our Megan on Monday series. It'll be every Monday now. Um, I'm happy to bring that guys back to you as requested. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Any questions, let me know. Bye-bye.